Blessings to all of you beautiful beings. It's Elena and I'm enchanted to have you be here on my channel. Hello and welcome. I'm so glad that you're here. If you're new, consider liking, subscribing, becoming part of my little YouTube family. And if you've been here before, hello and welcome back to each and every one of you amazing, fantastic, incredible, and beautiful souls right across the screen. Lots of love, lots of warm hugs, and hopefully you and yours are safe. On today's video, I'm very excited to check out the next two boxes of the Crystal Council. Yay! So I have here the October and the November box. This time they didn't come in bags. They've been recently coming in like shipping bags and then the box was in there. But this time they did not. And for these boxes, I did do a survey to compare them. So for these two boxes, I decided to work on a couple things. I will pop them out over here. I wanted to work on strength and vitality, courage and confidence, and to get over my fear, specifically to work with my spiritual strength and to share more of my spiritual practice with you guys because I've been so secluded for so many years that it's a little bit difficult to share what I usually do in my practice and I'm definitely not going to be sharing a lot of it um, for personal reasons but I about a third I definitely want to share with you and bring more personalization into my teachings and videos and that sort of thing. I hope that makes sense. So hopefully these rocks will help with it. Okay, so I am going to start off with, where's the, are you October or are you November? Who are you? This is October. I'm gonna start off with the October box. Now I get the master box. This is a monthly subscription box and I have been getting it for over a year and I've been really enjoying building up my collection with them. I am not affiliated nor sponsored, but I do have a referral code that anybody can have if you sign up for a subscription. So I'm gonna put the referral code and the link to them down in the description below. And I'm going to be posting pictures and a more in-depth kind of explanation of them, like typing everything out so that you could see it clearly on my website. So I'm gonna post the link up there, up there <laughs> for you if you wanna check it out. There's lots of magical goodies on there as well. All right, so this is their newsletter and the information about their crystals in a very hear ye, hear ye scroll, which forever amuses me. And we have, oh. They've included a hand-carved crystal coffin to help synchronize your energies during this spooky season. Cool. So this is for October. It says, Dear subscribers, October is a season of transformation and transitions. Try to embrace new areas of your life that encourage growth. Oftentimes, we may be too overcome by fear when looking to make a change in our lives. This is merely our minds trying to stay in a state of comfort and non-growth. Break past these barriers and welcome the unknown. Here is where you will find your true passion and life's purpose. Ooh. All right, so it's already kind of built around overcoming your fears, which is great. And I see, what are you? Oh, we get a candy. Fun. It's a little squishy gummy candy. I will have that as a snack afterwards. Okay, let's see, aha. So this is the little coffin that they were talking about. And I get a very cute tiger's eye. I don't know if I have enough light in here to like really show off its flash, but it has some flashiness to it. I like it. This is a cool one. Starting off with the tiger's eye, then we have, ooh, one of my favorite types of looking crystals. This is a grape agate. I see I have a very small piece of it. I have a couple pieces on my own in my collection and I am adding another one. So here is 
this crystal. This is a grape agate. Um, sometimes it's called a purple amethyst or like a grape amethyst, which is not true. This is an agate and I'm sure you can guess why it's called a grape agate. It's because its formations are these little spheres that look kind of like grape clusters. Cool. So I'm going to add that there. Then we have a Caribbean blue calcite palm stone. Yeah. Oh, it's a heart. We have a Caribbean blue calcite in the shape of a heart. Cool. I like the patterns. I like how it's kind of in half. We got the blue on this side and then we have some of the banding on that side. It's a very pretty piece. I'm not a huge fan of like heart shaped crystals for some reason, but I really like the patterns of this one. Let me know, are you a fan of like carved crystals, that sort of thing? Um, I'm more of a enjoying my crystals bra or in towers. That's kind of like my preference. Let me know what your preference is, but it doesn't really matter regardless of how you like your crystals to work. They are still magical and still impressive regardless what shape they are. We have a rhodochronite bracelet. Cool. Oh, I like how it's dainty, how it's much smaller. Usually they have like larger beads. Well, not they, but these types of bracelets come with larger beads. I do like this one being smaller, so I will definitely be more apt to wear it. Nice. I, I like the bracelet. I put that there. We also have, okay, I think you are Uh-oh, quartz covered for surprise. Okay, so it's the same, it's just labeled twice. Just making sure none of the labels fell off. Ooh. What do we have here? A quartz covered chrysoprase. Oh, that's a cool looking piece. I'm loving the colors of it. it. Has a little bit of a sparkle to it. Nice. Oh, I love the formations on the inside here. Very cool. We also have Tremolite. Ooh, that's a new one. This is a very nice palm piece and it matches my sweater. Oh, this is a really pretty color. Bandings are interesting. We have some like green type of bandings and then a, like a black band through it. So I wonder if it has maybe hematite in it. Uh, I don't know. Or maybe it just comes in those kind of colors. So very pretty palm piece. I do like the shape of it and the way it feels. We also have, what do we have in here? The, a small, two small tumble pieces. And, oh, I don't know who they could be. Hmm. Maybe a moss agate or something. I could be wrong. I like to guess, but I'm not the greatest and I don't know what this one is. This one is pretty dense though. It's like quite heavy and dense. All right, so this is what was in the October box. And hear ye, hear ye, let us read about it. So I have Rado Crow Sight. 
I just had it. So this is, oh, hold on. Let me read my first thing. Hello, Elena Enchanted. From the simply beautiful to the undoubtedly magical, each specimen within this month's selection has been chosen just for you. Invoke and inspire by adding these new crystals to your daily mindfulness rituals or simply enjoying the beauty of their natural essence. Each hand-selected crystal specimen has been ethically sourced, cleansed, and is ready for you to bond with. Slip a stone in your pocket for a walk through fire bright leaves or chilled air while asking, while basking in the golden hour lighting, or place a favorite crystal within a festive display for added ambience. Or put it in your bra if you don't have pockets, because not all women's pockets, I mean, not all women's pants have pockets. This month, we've crafted your box around strength, personal will, transformation, psychic abilities, new beginnings, self-healing, and abundance. Mm, I wouldn't exactly say that that matches my survey. So we have strength, uh, self-healing and transformation, maybe sort of. Well, I don't think that description kind of matches what I put in in my survey. I don't know, let me know what you think. So we have Rhodochrosite. I'm probably butchering the name of it. It is a powerful alley in healing yourself and your emotional body. This stone should be a daily reminder to put you, yourself, and your well-being first. It's a really good reminder. <laughs> you remember that too. This stone helps release pain, anguish, and trauma weighing one's mind and heart. It is the perfect stone for anyone who has trouble coping with emotions and will provide a calming and soothing energy field around one's aura. Ooh, a definitely nice bracelet to wear. Then there is Grape Agate. Grape Agate is a powerful intuitive stone that activates and links the crown and third eye chakras together. This stone helps one activate their psychic abilities and assist in the understanding of dreams. If you are someone who constantly dreams, we recommend placing the stone at your bedside each night to allow the powerful energies of this stone to work while you sleep. One's dreams will become more controllable and the images within them will become more clear. Your mind will become stronger than ever and push you to understand the images you see and how they can affect your current life. I'm someone who lucid dreams all the time. Um, if you don't know what lucid dreaming means, it means you dream and you are aware that you are dreaming. And I've had this my whole entire life. Like I would play movies in my head. <laughs> so dreams are very interesting for me. I kind of like to study while I sleep, if that makes sense, and explore my um, psychic self. And I do a lot of dream interpretation. That's been one of my longest studies. If you hear snoring and like scratching in the background, that is my dog passed out and growling and running in her sleep. <laughs> Anyways, I have done a multiple year deep delve study in dream interpretations and I do offer that service on my website if you wanna check that out. Um, I'll link, again, my link in the description below. All information will be down there. So if you have like a reoccurring dream or something you're not sure of, I can try and help you out. All right, enough of a shameless plug of what I can do. On to the next stone. So I have the Caribbean Blue Calcite. It is a mind activator and helps one channel their own unique psychic abilities that aid one in elevating their consciousness. While we're still learning more and more about this stone each day, we highly urge you to do this same. During your next meditation session, add this stone to your cycle and begin to draw energy off of it so you can channel it within. One of the first things we've noticed is the overall sense of calm and serenity that overtook our physical body. This allows one to more easily slip, whoop, slip <laughs> out of their physical body and ascend to higher vibrations. Cool, cool. Then we have quartz covered chrysoprase. This unique variety from Indonesia is an enhanced version of chrysoprase with a druzy quartz coating throughout. Chrysoprase urges us to 
channel the newly found strength. They had a little typo of like multiplying the words. Urges us to channel the newly found strength directly into our heart space, attempting to cleanse and rid all negative energy. Nature and chrysoprase have very strong connection, and we urge you to meditate with a peace outside. We recommend during the time of dawn or dusk when Mother Earth is at her, is at her most energetic. Cool, cool. Nice, lovely piece. We also have, I think this is... So the two that we don't know, don't have names, we have Svelarite and Indonesian Jasper. So I think this would be the Jasper, this would be the Svelar... Svelarite. Sf <laughs> Svelarite. It is here to help ground your energies and activate your lower three chakras. It raises one's courage, drive, and focus levels to heights they never knew they had within. This mineral helps one truly believe in themselves and their ability to unlock their full potential in this life. Sfe 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 <laughs> this stone pushes one to realize that their dreams are within their grasps and the only way to get there is through hard work and dedication. Sfe sfe I give up, is here to provide you with the vitality and energy needed to push forward. Working with this stone will provide one with an inner reflection of themselves as well as an aid one as well as aid one as they grow into the person they truly want to be. Cool. I think so far this is the one that hits my survey on the head. Then we have the Indonesian Jasper. This variety of Jasper native to Indonesia with different colors and formations throughout. It is a chakra aligning stone that increases your intuitive nature as well as grounds you down to earth, bringing you closer to her loving and abundant energies. That's all I have to say about it. I think this is the shortest description on a crystal they've ever had. We also have Tremolite, this cool rock, oh geez. This cool rock is a rare heart chakra crystal that activates our softer side. Oftentimes we treat ourselves too harshly and lack self-love, which leads to low confidence. Working with Tremolite and repeating self-affirmative phase phrases can help turn our subconscious around to start respecting ourselves. To be able to share the love with those around us, we have to start inwards. Ooh, I like that. Okay, so we have two, two of these stones that kind of hit the nail on the head. The others are great to work with. I mean, self-reflection and increasing your psychic abilities and all that stuff always help with like everything overall but i feel since they claim that they're handpick and you specifically like get what your survey what you you specifically <laughs> wow okay let me try this again since they advertise a completely customized monthly box based on the survey you provide I don't think this kind of worked out the way that I would expect it to, if that were to make sense. Um, let me know what you think about this box. Now let's check out the next one. I'm going to leave these here because I will then be taking pictures of them and posting them to my website along with all the descriptions so that you have a better way to access it. Okay, on to the, shh, don't fall. On to the November box. I had a sticker here with my address, so I took it off. Again, this one didn't come in a package, just the way it is. And let's see what we have in here. Are you excited? Because I'm excited. I like any rocks that I look at. Ta-da! So we have their scroll and the newsletter. I feel like they could have added a little bit more squiggles. It seems a little squashed. So they have a had a Black Friday sale with 15 50% off of things. I didn't shop on their Black Friday sale, but I did 
can buy a couple crystals from a different crystal dealer that I get stuff from. So, um, never enough rocks. <laughs> I did a rock organizing kind of live or partially organizing live talking about some crystals. I will link that up at the top too if you want to check out some of my collection, which has increased since then. Yay. <laughs> All right, so this is their November newsletter. Just because the summer sun and heat are missing, it doesn't mean that warmth and light cannot be found on the inside. Embrace the season of change and giving back. It only takes a small gesture or smile to brighten someone else's day, and that is the best gift of all. By giving to others, only then can you unlock the compassion of others, hoping they pay gesture forward. I said, we've included a sage bundle for your spiritual practice. We source all of our sage from a multi-generational family of sage farmers in the USA. Cool, cool. So they have that. Um, I will show the sage wand. Please keep your comments and thoughts to yourself about the use of sage. You don't know anybody's practice or anybody's life. So keep those comments to yourself. We have a nice bundle from them. Ooh. Oh, and it smells so good already. I'm gonna scooch that off to the side. Then, ooh, we have a sticker. I like it when they toss some stickers in there. I'm a sticker stationary fanatic. If you follow me for some time, you know. On to, oh, okay. I like the name of this. We have crocoite. I think that's how to pronounce it. Reminds me of crocodile, crocodile, croc crocodile. Now I feel like I'm saying it wrong. <laughs> this is definitely new. I do not have one of, ooh. Oh, it is pretty. That is a really cool piece. I like the formation of the red crystals on the top. They're like linear and crisscross-y. So I wonder if the red is the crocorite and it's in a matrix of some sort. Cool. It's very fragile and crumbly. Um, I don't know if you can see all the dust in here, but that is a really cool piece. For this month, I did the same survey in the same exact wording picking the same exact stuff. Like it was pretty much copy and paste. So we'll see how this one goes and then we'll compare. Yeah. Um, para Paragonite. This one's also brand new. Oh, it already looks cool. Ooh. So I think this portion is the paragonite and it has mica coverings. Um, the little flaky, shiny things that you see, I believe that's mica. Cool, cool. I like this piece. It kind of looks like a tree stump a little bit and I like that it stands on its own. Cool. Again, this one's also um, a little fragile and flaky because of the mica on top. I'm gonna be calling it mica because I'm about 85% sure. <laughs> we also have Thompsonite. Thompsonite. Ooh, another rock piece. And another new piece for me. Ooh, and another really cool piece. Oh. Okay, um, I wish I can describe it. I don't know if it translates on the camera better, but these peach-like colors, um, the roundish formation, they look like they would be soft or like velvety but they feel like velcro like a very fine velcro that 
is so cool. I assume the top, 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 top. Oh man, I can't talk today. The Thompsonite is the peachy crystal and it's in the matrix of some sort. And I see other kind of crystals alongside with it that could possibly be. Mm, I don't know, I was gonna say smoky quartz, but I'm not entirely sure. Oh. Okay, this one is gonna be super cool for me to go through and like study and observe. So the the little broken up spheres, like on the side here, does this really cool pattern formation of, um, wow, okay. It reminds me of a different type of crystals that has those formations a little bit more clearly. It's usually green and I cannot think the name of it off the top of my head. I could pop it up like right here, the one that I'm thinking of. But it kind of has those in like miniature small versions. Oh, this is really, oh, you could see it like really well. Almost looks like barnacles. <laughs> like on a ship, there's like little round barnacles. That's kind of what it looks like. Oh, this is a really cool piece. I like that. I wonder what this gray crystal is. I'm going to have to do a little bit of research to see how, like where these grow and how they grow and what's the most common, like nearby crystals with it. Sorry, I mesmerized by that one. Okay, we then have these just just have the little divider we then have eusingite all of these new stones that's awesome another interesting raw piece it has like a lilac-y pinky sheen to it and I think in some spots, it might also have a little bit of mica on it. This is an interesting stone. Maybe not as cool looking as that one, but I really like the way the colors kind of shift from like a darker to a lighter pinky lilac -y color. Um, I'm biased towards the color lilac. That is my favorite color. <laughs> so um, yeah, yeah. Then we have fla flower rhyolite. This looks like a tower. And I think this one might be a repeat. Hmm. Yeah, I do think, I do think this is a repeat. Um, because last box that I did unboxing, I had a flower rhyolite tower and then a Kesera little tower. This is a repeat. Um, I'm not upset about it. I don't really mind repeats as long as they don't happen frequently in a box that's supposed to be like a mystery box that's supposed to be like a customized type of box but that's a very nice pretty tower Ta towel guys i don't know what's wrong with me all of these tongue twisters and me being unable to talk anyways a nice pretty tower again another green to match my sweater perfect day to wear this it's like i knew <laughs> Cool, the point is well intact. And oh, it's, it's a little crooked when it stands, but it still stands well on its own. So I like to display some of my crystals, the ones that won't be affected by the sun, because not all crystals should be exposed to the sun for a long period of time since they can lose their colorings, um, such as amethyst 
and citrine. <laughs> but something like this would be okay to display in the sun. And my tip for you is to get museum gel, museum, I think that's how you pronounce it. And take like a little bit of dot. It's all, it feels like putty, but it's really clear and it forms great. So you add like a little bit to the bottom, put it in a flat surface that you want it. And then it kind of like spreads out. So you only need a little bit and it will hold it in place without having that like precarious little wiggle in case that like the table moves or something like that. Um, I specifically use it because I have a cat and a dog and my dog is a klutz and I don't want to break any of my crystals. Cri <laughs> I don't want to break any of my crystals. Okay, so we have these two little tumbled pieces in a nice little lilac bag to match that one. And, ooh, that has like a cool little holes type of stuff in the center. Nice, I should probably do this. And this one here. Um, I'm not really gonna guess on these because these have become more unique than like average tumble pieces. Um, which I'm loving, so we shall see. Okay, fun, fun rocks in this box, just making sure I didn't miss anything. All right. Hear ye, hear ye. We said, oh boy. <laughs> Hello, sorry, I got distracted by like the bold print it says hello elena enchanted spark new energy into your life with your curated box this month our hand selected assortment of sto stones are meant to help you guide you along your spiritual path welcome new ideas and creativity into your routine each day set your intentions into these new crystals and make them a part of your environment to fully observe absorb their energies this month we've crafted your box around strength manifestation meditation spiritual awakening joy love and relationships elena happy birthday elena the crystal council family hope all of your special birthday wishes come true november was my birthday we are so excited to have you in our community of crystal lovers thank you for sharing your intentions with us each month we love that you are leaning into what makes you feel genuinely confident and intuitively connect connected this month's subscription box is centered around abundance receptivity transformation and illumination next in illuminating next steps you can work these stones into your daily tasks to add a special essence, encourage flow, and make things to go a bit smoother. Meditate with your new crystals to revitalize your essence, exploring options of how to best proceed or tune into the energies of empowerment and confidence. Peace, love, and birthday wishes. I'm, I'm a little bit confused. Maybe there's like a little bit of a typo um, with the addition. I love the customization of them saying happy birthday. Thank you. So it says this month, we've crafted your box around strength, manifestation, meditation, spiritual awakening, joy, love, and relationships. And then we have this month's subscription box is centered around abundance, receptivity, transformation, and illuminating next steps. Oh, let's find out which one it is. <laughs> So we have the cro crocoite is a very interesting mineral that gives off a high vibrational energy. This crystal works to activate, unlock, and link your root, heart, and crown chakras together. This important connection helps you root your most heartfelt thoughts. Maybe I should create a better background. This crystal works to activate, unlock, and link your root, heart, and crown chakras together. This important connection helps you root your most heartfelt thoughts and emotions down to an earthly plane so that they can then be grounded. Only once you are able to come to terms with your ideas. 
ideas and emotions can you move forward and take action the most important step when trying to do this is just taking the initial jump a lot of people have trouble making the leap due to fear and insecurities but crocolite can be the perfect ally this special mineral helps keep your mind focused and clear when on the path of following your dreams Ooh, this is a nice stone to work with definitely looking forward to that then we have red plume agate i assume since it's red and the other one is sugar light which is usually purple red plume agate is a fiery stone that ignites our powers inside this crystal of manifestation can assist you in attracting your desires and help focus your mind on what is important in this life Try incorporating red plume agate into your daily yoga or meditation sessions while directing your mind on goals you'd like to set for yourself. Slowly, you'll begin to notice doors open up and your visions come to life. Nice! Good stone to get towards the end of the year so you can work with it and help manifest things for the next year. Then we have Sugalite. Sugalite, Sugalite, I think it's pronounced Sugalite, is a very elite and powerful stone and has earned the nickname Love Stone of this age. By whom? <laughs> it relaxes your mind and allows you to take a step back and enjoy the present moment. People working with the stone commonly find themselves having emotional connections to things and people around them that they hadn't even realized before. Sugalite is a very in the moment crystal and due to its power, effects can be felt within minutes for some people. Cool. Then we have Paragonite. Paragonite is a stone of the heart and solar plexus chakra that helps stimulate our creative centers deep from within. This so my husband is calling me right now. <laughs> this stone, this soft stone transitions our most passionate of ideas to real world decisions Paragonite helps us follow our heart and create with no fear of suppressing our expressions. Try meditating with this stone over your heart chakra while imagining new refreshing rays of light entering your body. Nice. Oh, I just noted that there's like a crack in here, which is kind of cool. I like it when raw crystals have imperfections. It definitely gives them more, um, like, percent. Well, rock, you can't really tell imperfections in a rock. I like the different details in rock crystals. Okay. Then we have Eusengite. Is a powerful stone of the heart chakra and helps release pent up emotions. While meditating, we suggest placing this piece directly over your heart space and imagining a powerful beam of light opening your most vital organ. You think that most vital, debatable, the brain might win on being the most vital organ, but okay. <laughs> Using it softens our emotions and breaks the barriers to help overcome the strong emotions we hold inside. Oftentimes, we let our feelings get the most of us during stressful situations. Meditating over time, the stone will assist you in controlling them. Cool. We have flower rhyolite. Ooh, I can compare if this, they do the same descriptions with the other one. I think I have a post on my website. I'm gonna check it out in just a second. Flower Rhyolite is a stone of the heart chakra that assists in the activation and flow of energy throughout the body. As heartfelt emotions begin to circulate, you will begin to, you will notice yourself begin to open up and become more in touch with your softer side. This pure version of yourself will be more in tune with your needs and will assist you in pushing through emotional blockages. Flower Rhyolite helps you flow through past traumas that have weighed you down for long enough. Take these past experiences and be thankful for them as they have given you the gift of opportunity. Uh, yes, I do believe that they use the same description. This sounds very, very familiar. Cool. And then we have Thompsonite. It is a stone that aligns your creative and intuitive sides to help you channel the highest version of yourself. This rare member of the zeolite family forms around other high vibrational stones such as, oh, I like how they did that, scolocyte and can help raise your vibrations to the next level. 
Try meditating with the stone in front of your body or on your forehead to ground higher energies down to the physical plane. Thompsonite can help you along your journey of self-discovery. All you have to do is call upon it. Cool. So these are some pretty cool rocks. I love the new additions to my collection, which is yay. <laughs> um, again, I, and which one do you think it goes forward to? So centered around abundance, receptivity, transformation, and illumination, or around strength, manifestation, meditation, spiritual awakening, joy, love, and relationships. I, I feel it's more of like the first one compared to the second one, but neither of them kind of really went alongside the survey I did. I don't know. Let me know what you think. I am really enjoying these new crystals and I can't wait to work with some of them. I think it's going to be absolutely amazing with, with their energies and that sort of thing. But I don't think for these two months it really went alongside with the survey I did. I don't know. Let me know down in the comments below. Anyways, uh, between these two boxes, let me know which crystal is your favorite. I think I'm going to go with Thompsonite just because I want to stare at it for like the next half hour and really enjoy all of its formations and that sort of stuff. All right, so here is that. Hopefully you enjoyed this video and if you've made it all the way to the end and like arm strength emoji, the one that's kind of like doing this to overcome any fears that you might have. So that is that. I shall see you on the next video. Love you all. Bye.